Hey, everyone. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening, Edith. Welcome. Angelica, welcome. We have Maria de Los Angeles. Christian Briseño, welcome. Luz Garcia. We have Jonathan, welcome. Roxana, welcome. Joaquin, Jensi, Fatima, Liliana Patricia. Who else is connecting? We have uh, Jensi Alexandra. Welcome, everyone. How are you tonight? Hello, can you hear me? Hey, welcome. How are you? So far, so good. So far, so good. Excellent. That's good. With good attitude to continue. Yes. How was the day? It was a good day today, full of activities, hardworking. Can you help me with the, the cameras, please? Me pueden ayudar activando las cámaras, por favor. Thank you, guys. Thank you very good much. Good evening. Hey, Richard. good evening. Welcome. Eh, Welcome, everyone. Creo que ahora voy a estar de hoy. Gente, porque soy ocupado ahorita. Estoy en el trabajo. You're at work. Yes. Okay, so try to be connected. Trate de, de estar conectado. Sí, 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 voy a estar al pendiente ahí. Okay. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Remember that yesterday we saw about the forms here of the simple present. And we had the affirmatives, we had the negatives. And we have a, a small exercise here, like in the platform, like an example that we have. For example, this one. In the conversation one, it says, my parents, a house in the suburbs. What will be the correct option? How? How, right? Because we have plural subjects. That's all right. So my parents have. Hello. Hello, good evening. Welcome, Rene. How are you? Thank you. Everything cool? Yes. Yes, yes, Very yes. Very nice. Really nice. Mm -hmm. So we work with this exercise, right? The one that appeared in the platform for you to see the example. What is the form? Now, let's continue with our next part. We have the simple present, but now with the questions form. How do we formulate questions? in the simple present? Well, we have two types of questions, the yes, no questions, and the WH questions. Let's remember that the yes, no questions, we investigate if the information is affirmative or negative. And what is the, the formula? What is the formula that we have? In the yes, no question, we have auxiliary, do or does, remember, depending on the subject, right? So we have do and does plus a subject plus a verb. We're going to use the verb in the base form or in the original form. Plus object or the complement. And then we include oh. the question mark because it's a question, right? We are going to interrogate. We need the question mark. In the case of the WH question, we have the formula. WH words, auxiliary do or does, depending on the subject, subject, verb, in the base form, then you have object or complement, and then we have the question mark. This is the formula that we have. Now, let's see some examples. In the simple present questions, yes, no question, do you get up early? No. I get up late. What is get up? Despertarse. Get up, that means levantarse. Different than wake up. When you say despertarse, that will be like this. Wake up. That is despertarse. So get up after you wake up, right? So they are two different activities. 
So, do you get up early? Te levantas temprano. Right? So, we ask the question there. No, I get up late. So, the contrary, right? Does he have lunch at noon? Do you remember what is noon? A mediodía? Exactly. No. That's good. Uh -huh. That's right. Thank you. Uh, let's see. If the answer is negative, no. He eats lunch at one o'clock. So it's not at noon. It's in the afternoon. Do they drive to work? Yes. They drive to work every day. This is an affirmative manner. Now, in the case of WH question, we have these examples. What time do you get up? Now it's a specific information, the one you investigate. At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? Now this will be their person. At one o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. So it's referring to time, right? Occasions there. Now, let's see more specific in the yes, no question. Other examples. If I ask, do I speak fast? My subject here is I. But as it's a yes, no question, you need the auxiliary do. Remember that depending on the subject, I use the auxiliary. So I use I, you, we, and they. You use the auxiliary do. Now, in the answer, no, you don't. This is a short answer. No, you don't. You speak slowly or you speak normally. You have different form of answer here. Another example. Do you run in the morning? No, I run in the afternoon. Do we have vacation in December? Possible answer? Do we have vacation in December? Yes. That's it's positive, right? Exactly. That is correct. So, yes. If suppose that is a, a short answer, yes, we do. Yes, we, we can do. give a uh -huh, we can give a short answer and finish in the auxiliary. But this auxiliary always depends on the subject. As my subject is we, then I maintain the same auxiliary. Yes, we do. Or yes, we have vacation in December, if you want to give a complete answer. Do your friends like action movies? Christian, how will be this answer? Do your friends like action movies? Yes, they, they like, oh yes, they, yes, they do. Excellent, if it's a short answer, you say yes, they do, that's correct. If you want to include like a, the complete information, then it will be long answer. Yes. They like action movies. But this is optional. It's not necessary because you are using a, a short answer. So it's your option if you say, yes, they do. That's it. Or, yes, they like action movies. So you have two options here. Short answer or the complete answer. Now, in the third person, remember, there are three subjects, right? What are the three subjects in the third person singular? Maria de los Angeles? What are the three subjects in the third person singular? Oh. Is he... Is, is he like that? The three subjects. What are the three subjects? He, she, and it, it. and it. Aha, that's correct. So we have three subjects, right? That we can use as a third person, but it's singular. So you, as you're referring to a different person, but only one. For example, does your father work in a restaurant? No. He doesn't. This is a negative answer. And it's short answer because you finish in the auxiliary. He works in a hospital. So here you give the answer. And here you give the specific information. Now, the structure. Let's see the structure in third person. Auxiliary, does. 
because it's a third person singular. Your father is the subject. If you want to substitute your father, what is the subject pronoun? He, she, or it? He. He, he. excellent, that's he. correct, very good. Now, what is the form of the verb with the S form or base form? Base form. It's base form, right? Why? Because you have auxiliary, auxiliary of the third person. So you don't need the verb with the S form. The verb maintains the original form. The other example, does the doctor give good medicine? What is the subject? Doctor. Yeah, doctor. The doctor, right? That's correct. What is the auxiliary? Das. Das. Excellent. What is the verb? Give. Give. Very good job. That's nice. So as the doctor is, probably the doctor is he or she, right? We don't know. Can be feminine or can be masculine. But it's a third person singular. My auxiliary is das. Now, does the doctor give good medicine? Possible answer? Gabriel, Abigail, can you give us an example of answer, please? Me, me voy conectando. You're connecting right now? All right. Sí. Okay. Veronica, Veronica, alegría. Possible answer, please? Does the doctor um, give good medicine? Affirmative or negative? Affirmative. Okay, go ahead. Say it. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. he, mm -hmm. he does. Yes, he does. If the answer is short. Yeah, that's correct. If the answer is short, then you finish in the auxiliary. That's all right. Good one. Now let's see the next one. Does the cat sleep with you? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, give me the answer, please. Yes, okay. it does. Yes? It does. It does. It does. Okay. It does. And that's correct. As you used the subject it, because you're referring to one animal, right? In the case of the animals, also you can use he or she. En el caso de los animales, también se puede utilizar sujeto he or she, pero si nosotros queremos identificar su género, entonces okay. puede utilizarse también he or she. Pero it es de manera general. So it's yes, it does. If you want to give a complete answer, you need to include the verb. Mm -hmm. So how will it be? Uh, yes. Uh, sleep with me. Yes, Oscar, how will it be the complete answer? So you need to include the verb. Does the cat sleep with you? Affirmative. Oscar? Sí, 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 sí. Repeat yes. me the question. Repeat sure. me the question. Can you give mm -hmm. the complete answer, please, for this question? Does the cat sleep with you? Uh, okay, okay, este, no, uh, this cat is not, uh, suppose, decir, suppose that is affirmative, una, suppose that ah, is affirmative, sí. affirmative. Ah, correct. yes, 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 uh, yes, uh, he cat sleep yes. with me, the cat, the cat, mm -hmm. the cat, uh, the cat, huh? yes, well, the cat sleep with me, mm -hmm. all right, now tell me, is this correct or incorrect? Yes. Is that complete? Uh, the cat is. Um, yo is creo this? que hace falta el it. It um, creo que es gracias. Creo que hace falta. You can substitute, actually, this one. You can mm -hmm. substitute this one. Let me tell you here. You can say like this. Yeah. If it's complete answer, you can say. Yes, it. But there is yes, something it. missing mm -hmm. in the verb. What happens with the verb? Mm -hmm. What is affirmative? Yep, sleep. Um, when is affirmative? Sleep, um, 
You remember and with me? Sleep. Luz Galpin? Sleep. But what, is, what happens with the verb? The verb. When it's affirmative. What do you include? Uh -huh. S. The S. That's correct. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. You remember? The sleeps. It sleeps. That's correct. Yes, it sleeps with me. That's Why? With me. That's correct. Because remember that when you have affirmative in the simple present and you refer to he, she, and it, you need to include the S. The S to the verb, right? Always include it. Now, in the question, you don't include it because you have auxiliary. So the auxiliary mm -hmm. transforms the verb in the third person. Yes? Remember? Okay. Yes. All right. Good one. Now, yes, it sleeps with me. Also, another possibility. Yes, the cat sleeps with me. <laughs> or yes, it does. If it's a short answer. So you have three possibilities here. Okay. What about if you give negative answer? <laughs> negative answer. Teacher, entonces sí se puede decir yes, he he does. Yes, he does. Like this. Okay. Yes. Si queremos especificar el género, sí, es correcto. Okay. Pero si queremos nada más generalizar, es, utilizamos no, it. Okay. He does or she does. Si es femenino, right? Okay. Is a, a female. Questions? Questions about it? No questions. No questions about it? Okay. So, yes, he does. <laughs> He does. Con si este, si uno, digamos, en este caso, eh, no va a utilizar el it, entonces, y, y va a poner el he, entonces tiene que ir acompañado de does. If it's your answer, Siempre. yes. Mm -hmm. Si es una respuesta uh, afirmativa y esta es corta, sí. Pero si, mm -hmm. es, com si es completa, entonces sería así como la de acá arriba. Que incluimos, mm -hmm. incluimos el verbo. Si incluimos el verbo, sí. va a ir en forma S, porque se refiere a, a uh -huh. tercera persona, ¿no? Sleeps with uh -huh. me. Uh -huh. Ahora, si es una respuesta corta, entonces, yes, he does. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You need the auxiliary. Uh -huh. If it's short answer. Siempre que sea una respuesta corta. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. Disculpe, la tell me, tell me. ¿Será que puede volver a explicarme lo del... Cuando se le agrega ese, por favor. Yes, sure. This one is when you have like a, a question or affirmative. Cuando tenemos un caso de afirmativo en tercera persona, pero es eh, presente simple. For example, mm -hmm. here you say, does the cat sleep with you? In the question, you have does. Because you're referring to one. Can be one person, one animal, one thing. But the mm -hmm. verb is in the base form. You have mm -hmm. a base form of the verb because you have auxiliary. La, uh, el verbo está en forma base porque lleva un auxiliar en la pregunta. Mm -hmm. Pero en una respuesta o una oración afirmativa, el verbo debe de incluirse en una S. <laughs> For example, here, yes, it sleeps with me. Mm -hmm. okay. siempre, se le, siempre se le va a agregar. Eso es para presente, simple. It's like here. Look at here, we have a question. It says, does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch el, el presente at simple one. Cuando sí lo hace. Cuando... Ajá, correct. When it's affirmative. Siempre que sea una, una afirmación. It's like here, como okay. los ejemplos que veíamos ayer. Sí. Let me hear. Here we have these ones. These are other examples. We saw yesterday. Los, los que vamos, teníamos como referencia ayer. Third person okay. four. We have Martina goes to the music academy. La forma base del verbo acá es go. Algunos verbos me van a variar. No va a llevar solo una S. Sí, no uh -huh. una ES. En el caso de go, en el caso de do. Ajá, porque acá la forma base del verbo es do. Pero yeah. en tercera persona es das. Go. Goes. He, she, goes. it goes. Uh, he, she, it has. So you have okay. the base, base form of the verb in the subjects I, you, we, and they. Mm -hmm. A third person singular that can be she, can be he, or it. In the case of one animal or one thing, you need to use the third person form. Okay. That happens in only third person and simple present. 
affirmative form. Okay. Yes. In the negative, no, because you have auxiliary. In the negative, no ocurre eso porque tengo auxiliar. It's a negative manner. Yes? Yes. Is it clear? Gracias. Sí, You're very gracias. welcome. Thank you. Gracias. Any other question, guys? No questions? Puede poner la diapositiva 24, por favor, me. Sure. This one. Here we have the structure. In the one we have simple present question form. As we mentioned, we have two types of questions. Yes, no questions. That remember, you investigate affirmative or negative. We have the auxiliary, two auxiliaries, right? Do. What subjects do we use with do? I, you, what else? We, and they. And they, correct. So we have I, you, we, and they, do. And thus, the third person singular. <clears throat> what are the three subjects? He, she, he, she and it. He, That's she, correct. And Very good. Now, then we are going to have a subject. Remember the subject? This one, what we mentioned, right? I, you, we, and they. The verb. What is the form of the verb? Is with the S form? or with the base form? <clears throat> base form. Base form, right? Because you have auxiliary. You don't modify the verb. <sighs> the object is the complement that we give. In the WH question, we investigate a specific information. For that reason, we include WH words. Remember WH word? What, what time, where, who, which. So after that WH words, we include the auxiliary. So the rest is like this one. Auxiliary do and does, depending on the subject. Then you have the subject. Oh, and you have the verb in the base form, because you have auxiliary. And then the object or the complement. Question mark at the end. Because Miss, o sea que, eh, por lo del do y does, no cambia el verbo. Siempre queda en forma base. That is correct. Always that you have a question, the verb is in base form. Como acá se formula la pregunta y en la pregunta siempre va a llevar auxiliar. Entonces aquí el verbo va a ir en su forma original. Sea el sujeto que sea. En las respuestas que me va a variar. If it's affirmative or negative. My pleasure. All right. Now we have some practice here. We are going to answer these questions. This is direct. It says, do you walk to work? Edit. Edit, Lorena. Do you walk to work? Give us an answer, please. <clears throat> Affirmative or negative? Hello? Edit, Lorena? Perdón. Uh, so okay. Yeah, neg negative. Okay. Give mm -hmm. us the answer. No. What is the rest? Mm -hmm. Do you walk to work? Mm. No, I do. No, I don't. Because it's negative. No, I don't. Perdón, perdón. That's sí, right. I don't. That is correct. Good. As this one is short answer, we finish in the auxiliary negative. No, I don't. Nice. That's correct. That's very nice. Now, if you want to give like a, a complete answer, then you can say, okay, as my answer is negative, do you walk to work? No, I don't. What is the correct information? You can say, I do you drive? Do you drive a car to work? Uh, no. No? I, you take the bus? I take, uh, no, I take uh, a the Uber. Bus. A, a taxi. A taxi. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. I take a taxi. A taxi. So mm -hmm. this is just extra information. Esto no es, no es obligatorio, pero es como información adicional. Ajá, mm -hmm. es información adicional. Pero aquí ya contestamos la pregunta. Right? No, I don't. I take a taxi. Okay. That's right. Okay. Very yes. good. Now, let's continue. Fatima Araujo. Let's answer the next question. Do your parents visit their neighbors? 
Um, lo siento, me sacó el sistema, no he estado acá. No. You were not here? All right. Okay, let's continue then, Jancy. Okay. She's like, okay. Sí. Yes. Quería que respondiera. Ah, yes, please. Do your parents visit their neighbors? Que si yo visito a mis parientes. Parents, they are father and mother. Parents son papá y mamá, padres. ¿Quiénes son papá y mamá? Ajá, parents. Do your parents, sus papás visitan a sus vecinos? That is the question. Do uh, your parents no. visit their neighbors? No. No. I don't. No you, your I, parents. No you, parents. My parents. Um, no, my parents visit their neighbors. If, if it's negative, then you say, no, my parents. You can say uh -huh. don't, right? As a contraction, uh -huh. don't. Uh -huh. Because it's negative, right? Don't. No, my parents don't visit their neighbors. Neighbors. That's all right. That will be like a complete answer, right? No, my parents don't visit their neighbors. That's good. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Sí, podría yes. ser también. Be. No, you don't visit. O tiene que ser hey. todo. Mm, not necessarily. No, they visit. No, they don't. Because it's short. Hasta remember? Esa sería la corta. That will be short. But remember that no, here. No, they not. They. They. Because remember here they, the subject they, they. is plural, right? Uh -huh. so okay, okay. Parents, no, they parents. not. No, they, they don't. not. Como que si no, ellos no lo oh. hacen, ¿verdad? Exactly. That is correct. That is short answer. Okay. In the short answer, you finish in the auxiliary. So don't okay. include the verb. Okay. Yes, don't include the verb. So no, they don't. No, they don't. That's good. Okay, so this one is with this auxiliary, do. Now let's see with the third person form. In the third person form, Jessica Esmeralda, does an elephant fly? Jessica Esmeralda, are you present? Roxana Guadalupe? Roxana? No present? Mauricio? I'm here. I'm here. Ah, okay. All right. Roxana, hello. Can you give us an hello. answer, please? Hello. Um, Does an elephant fly? Uh, podría ser, uh, yes. An they elephant? can fly. They can fly with this hair. Or no sé si se pronuncia con su suave. Oh, yeah. that is Dumbo. <laughs> <laughs> in cartoons, in movies, it's possible, right? <laughs> yeah. But let's say that is negative, according to the reality. Yeah. Does an no. elephant fly? No, no, right? Okay, good. What else? No, he don't. They. No, it don't. It? But it's third person. Don't. Third person. It doesn't. Yeah, that's right. Very good. It doesn't. Sorry. Right. <laughs> it doesn't. You see, it's the person, right? That's correct. No, it doesn't. And there we have, because it's a, like a generalization. Aquí es como una generalización. Un elefante. No se refiere solo a un elefante en específico, sino en, en general. Un elefante no vuela, right? So it's, no, it doesn't. What about the next question? Liliana Patricia, are you present? Liliana? Mauricio? Mauricio, are you there? Yo, teacher, sí. Okay, go ahead, please. Does your best uh -huh. friend live abroad? Yes, she does. Ah, that's good. Or yes. Yes, uh -huh. my best friend lives in Spain. Abroad. Or Spain. About, that's good. Specific information. Excellent. Yes, she does. Or the other possibility with real information. Yes, yeah. yeah. you say she, right? She? 
What else? Uh, Live or lives? Uh -huh. Lives. Lives, excellent, because we have a third person. Lives in Spain, right? Oh. You said Spain. That's all right. Good one. Okay. We got this case here. With the auxiliary do mm -hmm. and does to formulate a yes, no question. So look for the answer. Affirmative information or negative information. Mm -hmm. Questions. Do you have some questions about this? Eh, solo quiero saber qué significa eh, leave, la palabra como que se escribe abroad. Oh, abroad. ¿Y cómo se pronuncia también? Abroad. 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 Abroad, abroad. 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 means in another country. Not in El Salvador, but in Guatemala, in um, Honduras, in Spain, in Italy. A different country. Yes. Mm, en el así como vives uh, en el extranjero. Exactly. Eso that is abroad. En el extranjero. That is correct. Y se dice abroad. Abroad. Mm -hmm. Abroad. 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 That's abroad. Right. Mm -hmm. abroad. The pronunciation. Okay, gracias, teacher. Yes. My pleasure. Any other question? Uh, yes, tell me. Sí. Um, Uh, para el negativo podría ser uh, no my best friend lives lives in the country ah, that's good. in, in oh. this country in this country right so okay. so is, um, does your best friend live abroad no uh, suppose that your best friend is he no he lives in this country That will be another possibility, right? So it's like more specific and with more information. Como para no decir nada más. Eh, no, he doesn't. Yes, he does, right? You can give or provide Thank more you. information. You are very welcome. Any other question? No questions? No questions, no? Okay, let's go ahead then with our WH questions. Now, let's remember that here we investigate a specific information so you don't answer yes or no. In the WH question, they contain WH words, auxiliary, subject, and the verb in the base form. For example, where do you work? What's the possible answer? I work. In a restaurant, for example. I work in a restaurant. So here, no, yes or no, right? You provide the specific information in that. What time do your siblings go to school? Possible answer. Siblings? 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 Siblings. siblings it means like, for example, if they ask you, hey, do you have siblings? Ah, oh, yes. In my case, your teacher has three siblings because I have one sister and two brothers. Ah, then I have three oh. siblings. Yes? Hermanos, okay. but in general, okay. in general form. Yes? So, what's the possible answer that I can use? Gabriela Abigail? Abigail? Are you present? My siblings uh -huh. go, sería go to school. Uh -huh. But what time? Because we investigate uh, a specific hour. Uh, at 8 a.m. At 8 a.m. Or 8 in the morning. Ah, that's good. That's good. At eight o'clock in the morning. If you want to substitute siblings, what subject pronoun can you use? I, you, we, they. 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 Perfect. All right. They go to school at eight o'clock. O'clock in the morning. And there you have the information. 
at eight o'clock in the morning. Sometimes you give just the specific information. Muchas veces solo se va al punto. So you can say at eight o'clock in the morning. At eight o'clock. I'm sorry? Se, se le escucha cortado. Quiero saber qué significa la palabra siblings. Siblings, hermanos, pero de manera general. Can be brothers, sisters. It's a general manner. General manner to express brothers and sisters. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, let's see the okay. next one. The next part will be the next question. When do you play basketball? When it can be, for example, in the morning, it can be in the afternoon, at night, on Saturdays. When? In a specific? Carlos Arturo, can you give us an answer, please? <clears throat> I play basketball in the weekends. Ah, on the weekends. Very good. On the I weekends. play. Very good. I play basketball on weekends. And there you answer. When? On a specific occasion. On weekends. Now, this one starts with the auxiliary do. But remember, depending on the subject, right? Because here you have the subject you, the subject I, they, in the case of your siblings. You have you again, I. Now, in this one, where do you work? We have this case, right? Now, this one, we can include about their person. Like, what time does the mechanic open the workshop? Now we have third person. What time is my WH word? Auxiliary is does. Because the mechanic is only one person. Probably a man or a woman. Because you know in the actuality, possibly also the women, they can be mechanic. So probably it's he or she is only one person. Third person singular. Then you have the verb in base form and then the complement. What is a workshop? It is. That is correct. Thank you. That's correct. So what time does the mechanic open the workshop? Ada, can you give us an example, please, of answer? Short uh, at 8 a.m. At 8 a.m., okay, that's good. Okay. If you want to, yeah, that's good. If it's a specific, right, you just go a specific information and that's it, mm -hmm. it can be at 8 a.m., right? It can be at 8 a.m. And the next one, which restaurant does your uncle visit every day? A specific restaurant, right? Remember, which means what? What could be a possible answer? Joaquin, can you help us, please? Um, um, Joaquin, are you present? No? Ada? Teacher. Hello. Ya yeah, no problems? Ajá, estaba prendiendo el, el micrófono, pero ya alguien más contestó, así que... Ah, ok. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. Uh, which restaurant does your uncle visit every day? Okay. Does, mm -hmm. uh, uh, is possible it? No, because remember that here your uncle is a person. Oh. Yes, the subject okay. is a person. Is he. And is he. Ajá, correct. Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't visit the restaurant every day. Okay, that's good. Maybe it's negative, right? He doesn't visit a restaurant every day. Uh -huh. It also can be negative, right? What restaurant tu tío visita todos los días? Él no visita un restaurante todos los días. Probably no. once a week, probably, <laughs> right? Yes, <laughs> probably once in the week, right? That is good. Mm -hmm. 
That's in the case of WH questions. Do you have any question with this? So these are more specific. Teacher. Yes, uh, tell me. And one again. ¿Qué significa wish y uncle? Which means cuál. Investigamos algo en específico. En este caso es cuál mm. restaurante. Okay. And what y... is the other one, sorry? Uncle. Okay. Tío. Tío. Uncle. Ah, okay. Your uncle. Gracias. Yes. You're Thank very you, welcome. Teacher. Thank you. We're going to take some minutes to pass the attendance list, guys. So let me know if you are present, please. Okay, let's start. Ada, Ada Lisset. Ada, present, there, right? Thank present, you. Present. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ada Beatriz. Ana Beatriz. Are you present? No. Angélica María. Angélica María. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Carlos Arturo. Present. Thank you. Christian Daniel. I'm here. Thank you very much. Edith Lorena. Present. Thank you. Fátima Yesenia. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail. Present me. Thank you. Ibis Areli. Ibis Areli. Jessica Saray. <clears throat> Present. Thank you. Joaquin Jesus. Joaquin Jesus. Jonathan Adonai. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan, right? Sí. Yes, thank you, thank you. Juan Antonio. Juan Present, Antonio. Teacher. Thank you. Catherine Rebecca. Present. Thank you so much. Present. Catherine, all right, thank you. Present. Kevin Orlando. Kevin Orlando. Lenin Monterrosa. Teacher Joaquín dice que tiene problemas con el ¿Who? micrófono. What's his Joaquín name? De Joaquín. Joaquín de Jesús. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Then we continue with Lenin. Lenin Monterrosa. Lenin. Liliana Patricia. <clears throat> Liliana Present. Pat thank you, Liliana. Luz Margel. Present. Thank you. Maria de Los Angeles. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Alberto. Present. Thank you. Miguel Antonio. Present. Thank you so much. Olimpia Valeria. Olimpia Valeria. Oscar Esaú. Present. Oscar. Thank you. René Alfonso. Present. Thank you so much. Roxana Guadalupe. Roxana, Present. thank you. Verónica Cecilia. Present. Thank you. Verónica Maricela. Present. Thank you. Jensi Alexandra. Jensi. Jensi Alexandra. Thank you. Jessica. Thank you so much. Jessica Esmeralda. Present. Thank you. Jessica Vanessa. Jessica Vanessa Rivas. No? All right. Thank you so much, guys. We are going to continue. Okay, let's go on here. Okay, we were with the WH questions and the following is a video. We're going to watch it. After you complete this task, share it in our discussion forums. 
Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how. To... Everything okay with the video and the audio? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. To form. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by practicing a conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Which is heard a conversation in which lots of questions were asked and answered. I would like to explain how these questions are formed. Let me start by explaining the auxiliary verbs that are used when forming questions in the simple present. Do and does are the auxiliary verbs. As we start forming questions, you must also understand this rule. Do equals to I, you, we, and they. Does equals to he, she, and it. This means that we will use the auxiliary do whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And we will use the auxiliary does whenever we use the pronouns he, she, and it. Having said this, let me write the formulas to form questions. For yes or no questions, do or does, plus subject, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. For WH questions, WH word, plus do or does, plus a subject, plus a verb, plus some kind of complement. Now let's take a look at the simple present questions on your screen. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At 1 o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. On the left side of the chart, you can see yes or no questions. So if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for yes or no questions, do or does, plus a subject, plus some kind of verb, plus a complement. Uh, we're going to take the first example. Do you get up early? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And early is the complement. And of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. The next question. Does is the auxiliary verb. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch at noon is the complement. Of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. Now, let me show you WH questions. Once again, if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus some kind of verb plus some kind of complement. Uh, let me select the first question on the right side of the chart. What time do you get up? What time is the WH word? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And let's just analyze one more example. What time 
does he have lunch? What time is the WH word? Does is the auxiliary. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice these concepts by making as many examples of your own as you possibly can. Focus on making questions and answers. Form questions about the routine of your family, friends, and coworkers. After you complete this task, share it in our discussion forums. All right, watch the video then with some new examples, right? And also uh, like familiar examples too. But we can also practice the conversation that you saw. In this conversation, the name is, I get up at noon. That's very good. Imagine you get up at noon. <laughs> well, some persons um, work in the night, right? So for that reason is that they get up at noon. Uh, do some of you work at night? ¿Alguno de ustedes trabaja por la noche? Somebody of you work at night? No? Yes, Every... I do. Yes. Yes, I Adam, do. you work at night. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Rarely. Mm -hmm. A veces. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Some work Sometimes. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. All right. So it's very tiring, right? Very exhausting. So you need to get up at noon in some occasions. Now let's practice here our conversation. I'm going to read it and then you practice it. He says, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Do you have new vocabulary here? Early. Early, temprano. Contrary then late, tarde. Yes. Welcome. Any other question with vocabulary? Hey, la palabra up, ¿qué significa? The up. Oh, get up. This one? Mm -hmm. This one sí. is a, este es un verbo, es un verbo frasal. Es una frase que conlleva mm -hmm. un verbo y una preposición. Y significa junta, eh, levantarse. Mm -hmm. Diferente a despertarse. That is wake up, el que mencionábamos antes, que es wake up. Despertarse. Uh -huh. Get up, levantarse. Wake up. Uh -huh. Ajá, correct. So they are different phrases. Wake up. Wake up. Wake. Uh -huh. Let's practice it. Igual que una canción. Sí, igual uh -huh. que una canción que dice, uh, wake me up before oh. you go. Before you go, go. Yes. It's a classical, uh -huh. yes. <laughs> sí. It's very good. It's very motivating yeah. song. <laughs> it motivates people, yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's practice it. Oscar, you start. You are Jake. Let's go, say. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Piece. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Thank you. Maria de los Angeles, continue. You're Amy. Okay. Okay. But let's go in the afternoon. Uh -huh. I sleep late on Are the weekend. Sleep? That's all right. Good one. Thank you. Edith Lorena, continue. What time? What time do you get up on Sunday? On Sundays. Thank you. Jessica Franco, continue. At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Thank you. Veronica Cepeda. Oh, that's oh, early. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Thank you. That's good. Rene, continue. Do you? Do you cut? Breakfast. Do you eat? Do you eat? Do you eat? eat? I eat. Puro C se ve puro cat. Uh, yes, it's like a C. <laughs> Do you eat, eat breakfast? Then. Then. Okay, that's good. Christian, continue, please. 
Sure. Sure. I have breakfast every day. That's great. Thank you. Fatima. Uh, 10. Let's meet at the restaurant at one o'clock. They um serve it. They, they serve a bed all day. All day. All day. All day. That's correct. Good one. Okay. So we have this one, this practice with this conversation. You see, they are related to the simple present. And we have questions here with the yes, no question, or also WH questions here. Now, I have an exercise with simple present questions. He says, write he questions says, right. to complete the conversations. We have the answer, but you are going to say what is the question, the possible question. You have the example. It says, yes, I yes. use public transportation. So the question is, do you use public transportation? What about number two? No, my family doesn't eat dinner at five. Veronica Marisela, what is the possible question here? Um, Seria, do your remember, family... Remember here, auxiliary, auxiliary. My family uh, is taken as a third person. That's, uh -huh. Se toma como tercera persona singular. Yes? Da, do, do? Das, das. 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 Aha. Your. Aha. Continue. Das your family. Very good. Das your family. Eat dinner. Very good. Eat dinner. What else? What is the complement? Eat dinner. The time, right? The hour. Uh, at four. At five. At five, at five. Uh -huh. Okay, look, look, look. Here it says, no, my family doesn't eat dinner at five. So it's a yes, no question. Does your family eat dinner at five? As it's a question, you need question mark, right? That's why the answer, no, my family doesn't eat dinner at five. Probably they eat dinner at six or at seven, right? That's another possibility. What about number okay. three? Thank you. Number three, the answer is no. My brother doesn't take the bus to work. Luz Garcia, help us, please. What's the possible question? The answer Does. is negative. Excellent. Does. Se me trabó. Se me fue la señal. What happened? But we listen to you. Si la escuchamos. Eh, me fue la señal. Can you hear? No se escucha. Creo que no nos escucha. Christian, okay, continue, Christian. Does your brother take the bus to the work? That's all right, good one. Does your brother take the bus to work? That's good. Take the bus to work. Excellent job. Thank you. That's good. Let's continue. Gabriela. No, I don't get up late on the weekend. The answer is no, I don't get up late on weekends. Do you get up late on the weekends? That's good. That's a direct question, right? Do you get up late on weekends? Weekends, yes. So that will be the question. Do you get up late on weekends? No, I don't get up late on weekends. That means I get up early on weekends. Okay? And tomorrow we'll do more exercises with this. And I will send you more videos. Le voy a enviar más ejercicios okay. y otros videos para reforzar más esto. ¿Ya vieron los que Wait, me sister. Hello. Hello. Yes, I, yes, I see you. Yeah, oh, you I saw see. I saw the videos. Vi los videos. I saw the videos. Oh, and exercises. I saw the videos. I saw the videos. Okay, that's good. Very good. 
we'll continue tomorrow then, guys, okay? And practice. Please try to practice in your free time. En su tiempo libre. Good night. Practicar. Have a good night. And remember to advance in the platform. Recuerden de, de avanzar en la plataforma para que no se vayan a atrasar. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you, guys. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a beautiful night. Good night teacher. Good See night. you tomorrow. Night. Sweet dreams. Well, Sweet you. dreams. Thank you. Have a great night. Good See you night. tomorrow. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you too. Thank you very much. Okay.